Right, well, that sucked. My now, I guess, ex-wife, uh, still mother of my kids, and probably still my best friend, Clara, grew up in Berlin in the 1980s, in what was still, at the time, West Germany. Although, of course, geographically, it's bang in the middle of East Germany, hence the wall. Like all kids at German schools in the 1980s, she was taught in unflinching terms about the horrors of the Nazi era and about how it came about, how the most civilised of nations got so hung up on notions of destiny and birthright that it descended into abject savagery in pursuit of this. How much as I and my British classmates were often dragged round ruined castles and Roman fortifications on school trips, she and her classmates were often dragged round concentration camps. And she tells me that a frequent topic of conversation among her and her friends at the time was, what kind of German would you have been back then? Would you have been the kind of German who became an enthusiastic party member or the kind who just tried to keep your head down in your trap shop? And crucially, of course, would you have been the kind of German who stashed your Jewish friends in the cellar or the kind of German who called the Gestapo and said, my next door neighbor's hiding Jews in the cellar? And she would often tell me that while these conversations were generally expressions of relief that her and her friends would never be subjected to this kind of moral trial, she says it was often tinged with regret for that exact same reason, that they'd never be subjected to that kind of moral trial, that they would never find out what kind of German they would have been. Well, folks, here's where we find out what kind of German we would have been, because there are bad people running this country right now. And I've never thought that before. I've spent most of my life in opposition to the incumbent government, but I never thought they were actually malevolent. I was always willing to believe that they thought they were doing the right thing, even if I thought they were horribly mistaken about what the right thing was. But that is no longer the case. This administration will not act in the public interest because this administration has no concept of anybody's interest other than its own. So while the bad guys are in charge, the job of being the good guys falls to us. We are going to have to look after the vulnerable and the disadvantaged in our own communities because we can't rely on the state to do that anymore. In as much as we are able, we are going to have to look after the elderly and the sick and the disabled in our own communities because we cannot rely on the state to do that anymore. And we are going to have to confront the rising tide of racism because it's become apparent that nobody on either side of the political equation has any interest in doing that for us. We are going to have to be the ones who stand up to the thugs and the bullies, even if it means putting ourselves in harm's way occasionally. And of course, reporting such incidents while there's still someone to report these incidents to. I'm sorry I don't have a more encouraging message for you right now, but we do not live in encouraging times. But we do, however, live in challenging times. And I don't know about you, but... I've always quite relished having a challenge to rise to. We've got a lot to do. We've got to keep making the case that a society can be fairer and more prosperous, that these are not opposing forces, that contentment is not a finite resource, that the happiness of one group doesn't in any way reduce the happiness of any other group. But I am, at heart, an optimist. I know there are more good people than there are bad people. I know that most people want to do the right thing, even if sometimes we have different ideas of what the right thing is. And I also know that nationalism always fails in the long run for the same reason that it wins in the short term. It's just too easy. So, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. You keep doing what you're doing. And we'll find some more things to do together. In the meantime, have a happy New Year's Eve. This video was made possible by the supporters of my Patreon project, who helped me make fun things while receiving great perks and rewards. If you enjoyed it, why not follow the link and join us?